for this This, this movie came out the same week I was born. Wow. Wild. Wow. I know. I wish that my mom was at a screening of it when I was born, but... She would have named you Hetty. She would have named me Hetty, <laughs> but I was, a, I was a C-section. Did I ever tell you I was born twice? What? I'll tell no. You no. I'll tell you another time. <laughs> That's insane. You were born twice, so like they C-section and then put you back, put you back in, in and yeah. then you came a, out? A vaginal birth? No, this is true. Okay, so it was, uh, my mom had to have this like experimental womb steroid put in her to have me. And so she had to fly down to North Carolina from Boston like two months before I was actually born. And they like took me out and checked and they're like, the experiment's working. And they put me back in. What? And then, that's why you have these huge biceps. That's why I'm very strong. You have huge biceps. I'm spiritually strong, but I'm also extremely buff. That is insane. I've never heard anything like mm-hmm. that. Wow. And then, oh, here's the best part. Um, the doctor who invented those womb steroids later gave the first successful penis transplant. Oh, wow. I, I would like to credit myself. Yeah, you're a part <laughs> of the, the first inspiration. Pe- yeah, you were, yeah, you were part of that. He saw this fat little baby. He's like, you know what I should do next? On to the next conquest. Yeah. Save this baby. Now I'm going to save a penis. Now I'm going to save this guy. This Under guy. what circumstances would you need a penis transplant? Like if yours got chopped off? What? I, oh, I, I kind of remember that story. It was like his, I think his dick burned off. Oh ago. my God. It was like some tragic accident. Okay, I'll look it up. <laughs> But it, my dad texted me I know that. I'm totally wrong. Like, <laughs> my dad just some weird story I made up. He's like, actually a guys, cancer survivor. Guys, oh, that is really? it. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> His penis wasn't burned. Off yeah, that in is a it. House fire. Uh-huh. I I created a horror story of like a guy all fucking burned up. <laughs> Here's a He's great. Like, Please save my dick. First American to have penis transplant says it's starting to take shape. Oh, I love it. My dad texted me that article when that like happened early last year. And he was like, did you know this was the guy? This guy's the reason you're alive. I was like, whoa. Was he like an OBGYN? And then he was like, I'm going to switch to other genitals. I don't know. I mean, he was a surgeon of, of some. I see. Manner. I hope that's the case. Yeah. He's like, because that's these, really. All yeah. These vaginas. What if I, I was too fat a baby? For- oh, see, I saw it as like, you know, we're all the same. Oh, that. One? Two, right, any, that kind of fits one. in with the podcast. Right. Oh, <sighs> see, that's nice. I was going to say, uh, maybe I was just a big... The womb steroids worked a little too well, one might argue. I was an 11-pound baby. Wow. I know. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> that's too big. Is it because you were so... You're tall. Is it because you were like a long, just a long baby? Well, are you mm. tall because of the steroids? Excellent question. I don't know. It also You're calls... intimidating. You're here. You're pounding Thank Mike's you. harder lemonade. <laughs> that's true. And I do that uh, almost every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 